He got caught, y'all. He surrendered. Wanted for killing his girlfriend, Alexis Fisher, Alejandro Sierra surrendered to law enforcement Thursday by laying down in the middle of the street, just blocks from the Racine Police Department. The sheriff's office was doing a traffic stop on something else. He just walked up, laid down, and said, I did it. That seems bizarre. That never happens. That's the killer. They caught him. Who is you? Remember, he killed that girl the other day. That's, That's him. him. Where they find him at? He surrendered right here in front of me. The surrender came six days you? after police say Sierra right killed Fisher, a mother of five. Her obituary read she was quite talented and will forever be remembered for her artistic drawings, her love of music, joy of singing, and her infectious laughter. On Saturday, police found Alexis Fisher dead at this roundabout here in Racine at Spring and State. A memorial now sits at its center. A criminal complaint says an argument between the two led them to this location. It says a witness, quote, observed Sierra point a gun at Fisher, heard a gunshot, and saw Fisher fall to the ground. It's not something that you see that often. It's surprising to see that here in Racine. Um, it, it, it was one of those things that took us by surprise. Sierra, who prosecutors say goes by several aliases, has a criminal record that includes domestic violence. Sierra made his first appearance in court Friday. I'm setting a $500,000 cash bond. I find that he's a grave risk to the community. While Fisher's family laid her to rest. In Racine, Hannah Hilliard, WYSN 12 News. Sierra is charged with first-degree intentional homicide. He is due back in court next week.